New Smyrna Beach. We got up at four o'clock this morning to meet Stan from Everglades Boats to check out their latest model, the 285. So if you check out one of our previous videos that was just released of the factory tour, you're gonna see the 285 from concept to about halfway. Now we're gonna see the finished product. Let's go check it out. Good seeing you. Thanks for having welcome, us. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it, super excited to see this. Thankfully, we had that opportunity to check it kind of coming together during that factory tour, I which we that. have that yep. video. Yep. So it's awesome to actually see the finished product well, here. Well, thank you for coming here. We are real excited about this model. Uh, this is an addition to our five series, the 285. It fits our portfolio perfect. So uh, welcome aboard. So awesome, let's do it. One of the features, Alan, you'll see is it's a built-in handrail, already molded, well oh, thought nice. out. Gemlux outriggers. Rocket launchers are standard. And obviously we build all of this structure internally. You can get the powder coat to match the hull. All a finish. So let's just try out how the handhold. Go for fits. it after you. <laughs> you can see that little detail right there just gives you something to grab onto. And you can tell how sturdy this top is. I mean, this thing isn't moving anywhere. And I don't like to dangle on people's boats, but I'll do it there. Absolutely no budge whatsoever in that hard top. So. Uh, life, jacket, life jacket bag is standard. You know, a lot of things you try to look for storage, it's out of the way, it's safety, it's quick access, and it's nice and neat. So it's standard, you throw that on every boat? Every boat, yes sir. Well, it's nice, you always try to find where you're gonna stick the life jackets, yep. and it's, it's good to get it up and out of the way in a spot where otherwise you're really not utilizing it for Exactly, anything. exactly. So Stan, pretty nice area, ample space as I can see for a 28 footer, and there's a lot going on up here. If you can, kind of walk us through the highlights. Absolutely, Alan. One of the unique features that uh, Everglades in this model offers is this table. This table has three functions that it would do. First, it would come up as a floor. It would fill in that gap. Two, as shown, it is a casting platform, right? Or three, we have a holder here and you can convert that to a table. So really a multi-purpose for one part and everything is stored and has a place to store it. Yeah, so it's with that- to get to that base right there and, and make that adjustment. Yeah, right yeah. So with that in mind, it's very ingress to come up. If I'm gonna anchor out, the hatch opens nicely. I have a control here, and I also have it at digital switching. I've got a nice area where for my torque wrench and a nice concealed anchor built into the hull. Real nice, clean look. So Alan, additional amenities that this boat has is the, is the comforts, right? I mean, this is what it's all about. So sure if you're not fishing that day, or if you're just going out, taking a ride, how tall are you? Are you close to six like, feet? No, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, nine. Five, eight, eight, five, nine. Well, I'm six feet and uh, how secure you feel pretty good. Oh, I feel great. So we have USB ports, drink holders everywhere. Uh, this, this particular boat has a sunshade. Will be better than this. No, it's great. I can see like the, the beam of the boat makes it a good way up towards the bow. So it right. seems quite wide, it's spacious up here for a 28 foot. Right. And the freeboard stays with it all the way. So for children and whatnot, no problem. Right. You know? I see you have Gemlux hardware, the combination uh, cup holder rod holders up here in the bow, the cleats. Yep. Yep. So everything high quality, obviously we're, we're good friends with everyone there in Gemlux and they, they do amazing work. They we're, do. We're huge fans of the stuff. Top quality stuff. Mm -hmm. So what else you got tucked under here? I see some cooler space. Yep. So they're symmetrical. Um, again, a finished fiberglass on Everglades. Uh, there is your designated uh, ladder for your dive door, which is the option. We have teak covers for the teak that's exposed for the, for the backs and whatnot. Uh, the dash is obviously under the under shade, so it's okay. But we do have covers that cover them all up. So okay. And one little detail here: this this little latch is a huge deal. I don't know if you all out there agree with me, but they have this indentation and the catch there. So 
you don't have to lift this piece up and grab you know a, a latch underneath here you're simply putting your hand in that hole and lifting this up which is super comfortable and my personal favorite way by far to set up these you know forward seating or any cooler to be honest with you yeah we have the same geometry here just boom cold drink easy access another insulated cooler there. another insulated cooler yeah again you guys do a very nice job with your upholstery, I noticed as well. Yeah, we did the diamond stitching, which has a nice accent, two-tone, you know, nice amenities in terms of an armrest, and you're feeling very safe in the boat. On top of that, you got the Release Marine backrest, that teak accent also in the cup holder really gives it a, a yep. classy this is kind look of a, feel. This is kind of a big boat look in a small package. Yep. Small for 28, but a nice look. For sure. You know? Down underneath you is a fish box? Yep, that's uh, a macerated fish box. Here insulated go. it's uh it's macerated so you can have fish guts just hit chum hit, debris hit, and hit the it's going to dump that over the side yep. of the boat it goes on the bottom of the boat on the, down the bottom of the boat yes sir all right yep. perfect well, the thing is with this with this boat obviously it's it's comfortable it's pretty but they're built to fish correct, correct. right and we're going to go through these amenities we're going to talk about lounging and going to the sandbar and then we're going to talk about fishing and yeah. we're just and you're going to probably see a theme happening here right yeah, yeah I'm because sure. they can do both Perfect. and that's unique that's what I'm, I'm seeing already jail audio speakers throughout obviously that's uh we're big fans of their work as well yep. we and have them on our boats and and cannot speak more highly of the sound that these things and produce. those those sound engineers come here on every new model and they bless it i don't know how they do yeah, that stuff they, <laughs> they tune them they tune yep. each one individually yep Continuing these features in this model, I mean, there is no wasted space anywhere on this 285. Side storage everywhere. We had that much room. We filled it with a nice storage box, and that continues all the way aft. Excellent. And it's great to be able to utilize what otherwise would be just dead space, you know, for storage. You can never have Who enough needs storage. It, right. Again, side storage, designated ropes, really nice touch. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what some of the amenities are inside the uh, console. One of the things that we have here on the 285 is battery storage. We don't have any storage uh, for the batteries in the bilge, which makes it really nice. They're stored in this front storage here and access to the dash and the ECMs is real convenient because you just open this door and everything is right there at your fingertips. Fuses, the DCMs for that, the JL audio, everything is right here. You don't need even any tools to get to that. These latches right here, and I'll show you later that there is a trash can, which is now in the live well, which is kind of another nice unique feature on the 285. If you're fishing that day, you can just bring the trash can into the head. Now an additional feature is uh, it almost looks like a 455, doesn't it? Just, sure like, does. a, just like a little ice cube. Miniature, you know? miniature 455. So we've taken that same concept and put it in this model too. So two Garmin's, 18-inch uh, Garmin's uh, mm -hmm. that are there, standard. Nice little pad here for your cell phone or whatnot. Great visibility all the way around. Uh, with, our, with our digital switching, if we want the window down, we just push it down. Nice teak accent, again, an option but it really sets the tone for a really classy looking dash. Yeah, I see you have zip wakes on this boat. Yes, uh, Lenko's are standard, zip wake is an option. So you can get okay. in the auto pitch, auto roll mode. And this particular one, it will have the feature, has a sea keeper also. So the digital switching is something we went in depth on, on the 455 when we, uh, when we toured that boat. And it's absolutely amazing how simple you guys make it. And then right. on top of it, you know, you create redundancy with backup options in case things were to fail. Absolutely. So that's one of the things that definitely has stuck in my mind. And if you guys haven't seen the 455 video, go check that because we go into tremendous detail that maybe we don't have to do again here. But they also, I guess, this is standard? Two this is standard. So we have it now. The 395 was the first model with it. It was proven. We did it on the 235. We did it on the 455 and we're doing it on the 285. Oh, so moving awesome. forward, our platform will be like this without switches and all of the, uh, yep. the things that really make this a clean look. Yep. Um, and there is redundancy, so it's, it's very reliable and very safe. One of the features that we brought, just like we talked about earlier on other models from the 235 to the 285 is this swivel seat. This thing is just really unique to the industry and so versatile, and let's, let's explain to you what it is. Number one, there's a Seat Keeper 1 underneath here built in with our specifications and whatnot. You can, that is an option. 
If you didn't chose a sea keeper, you'll have symmetrical tackle storages on both sides. Okay. So if it's the fishing capacity, again, lifestyle change. So say we want to watch trolling lines or say we want to watch the fireworks. Well, then this thing will convert real easy. Not alone backrest here and here. You just pull this out and rotate it. Look at that. Keep it simple. And now this boat's cockpit has converted to something different, right? That's amazing. So the lifestyle now has changed. Now I want to go ahead and watch my kids over there swimming. I want to get under the shade. This nice scallop bolster here for the helmsman is really nice. It's not just a flat piece of, of foam. No. Yeah. It's scalloped to your back, which again, tension to detail. Yeah, so if you're not if you're not sitting down while you're driving the boat, this is actually extremely comfortable right here. Just to stand up, which most of us probably do when you're actually running the boat. So spinning it this way. You actually create a whole other entertainment space having comfortable chairs here. I think Stan just dropped the, the uh, footrest. Right. Is that right? Yep. So, so now look and see what this conversion Let's does. Let's try this out. See if it's the real deal. Oh yeah. This will work. So yeah, whether you're fishing or just hanging out at the sandbar, watching the kids jump around, this is a great spot to sit at right here and, and just relax. It really doesn't get much better. So just something as simple as swiveling this leaning post chair really changes the whole dynamic of both the home area and the cockpit space back here. Yeah, I mean, we can continue to entertain, right? So say we're gonna have a, we're gonna have lunch and a, and a cocktail, right? And you have some friends with you. You can have some friends with us, right? Look at that. Four people comfortably. Drink holders, everything's ready yeah. to go. Beautiful. It's, it's spacious, so hey, you can have a conversation with two people and you can have four people here with no, right. no problem whatsoever. Listen to music, watch whatever you wanna watch and everybody is within arm's reach. And then like you said, you're fishing. You pop these out of the way like we yep. saw on the, on the larger boats. And you actually got a bolster here to lean on. Yep. And you got a tow kick right here to yep. comfortably stand. So you, very well you, thought and out. And you just converted your cockpit. Just like that. So you don't have to be taking chairs out of the boat, right. onto the dock, which is obviously a pain. Right. You kind of have everything um, here at all times, whether you're you know, exactly fishing here, or running to the Bahamas and doing multiple things. You don't have to deal with that extra headache. It's a yep. it's a big thing for those of us that have dealt with it. No need for a beanbag. No, <laughs> no need for a beanbag. I see you have rod space back here that looks like it's yes. quite spacious for larger, yep. larger rods. That'll accept eight foot rods. We were very, very concerned about that, making sure that we had an eight foot area. And a nice touch is a built-in tow rail, which is really safe. Freeboard feels awesome. So in rough seas or whatnot, if you're fighting a fish on the bottom or yeah. whatnot, you really feel secure. Well, it's I, nice that you guys have thought of those little details because I, I, I personally would have never thought of that. But I mean, we've been in that situation where, you're, where the boat's rocking and you're reeling a fish. It's nice to be locked in right here and you know you're not yes. going anywhere. Feels good, doesn't it? Real good. Yep. Real good. Fresh and saltwater wash downs here. 12 volt reels for if you want to do some uh, electric reel mm -hmm. fishing. Very convenient, tucked out of the way. This particular boat has an engine flush system, so you can flush the motors. Okay. Everything is tucked in away, so nice and clean. All right, I see you got some live wells back here. We do. What's this little feature I'm looking at? I was, I was peeking my eye. Yeah. A trash can. So it's back to that conversion, right? What are we gonna do today? I don't need two live wells, I do have two, but I just need one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this out of here, this trash can, and again, we're going to put it in the head, which I'll show you in a minute. And you just take it out because you don't need it today. We're going to fish. That's cool. So if you're like us, you've used the live well as a trash can. I mean, Absolutely. Soda cans, water bottles, a beer or two possibly. So to be able to throw this right here, capture it all, and just be able to put relocate it, put it, it in a bag without banging up off, your live well. Take it off the boat. And this yep. is a 25 gallon live well? Both. And yeah. one, one is standard, that's two correct. is an option. That's okay. correct. Perfect, so that's that's nice. And again, like Stan was mentioning, we'll show you how you take this trash can. It actually has a spot to hang it down in the head as well. So, very good thinking. Fresh water intake, you got a shower right here. Yep. So obviously, jumping in and out of the boat, you got your side door right here next to me. We'll show you here that opening, but we won't mess with that too much. I won't give you a full on demonstration. I don't think you want to see that. Not the proper model for it. But very nice to be able to rinse off right there when you're you know, doing some spear fishing or just you know, jumping in and out of the water. Right here, we got here stand fish box. Yep, you got a nice fish box there. You can do your bait prep there if you like, or you can do your fish there. Then again, for the larger species, put them in the front bow area. But it's a great fish box from right from water right to boat. Yep. Insulated again. Excellent. 
All right, so Stan, let's check out the side door. How does yeah, this work? Another unique feature on the 285 uh, that we have. Uh, standard is this uh, really, really nice dive door. Oh, wow. Comes up, instant drink holders, nice touch. Little piece of teak, again, tension to detail. Very robust hardware, comes in. Another feature you'll see on some models, but not us, tucks right in flush. Doesn't impede with any of my seating, and it doesn't impede with any ergonomics that I'm gonna hit it with my knee or anything. Yeah, completely nice, clean tucks look. behind that bolster. We do all a finished surface. We don't trim it out in anything. So it takes a little longer to build, but look at the nice clean look. Yeah. And then we looked at the uh, dive ladder earlier. That merely just comes in, hooks in, and very ergonomically just goes in and out of the boat. Um, safely and there also is another ladder in the in the transom yeah i've always liked how you guys have done the side doors obviously we get the chance to see a lot of different variations of it you yeah. know some are good some not yeah. so good some, but some are a little more uh yeah macgyver type we thing know how difficult yeah. a task it is to nail that the way that you guys have and right. to be able to tuck that door perfectly the way that you have and the little touch like the cup holders it's yeah it's, it's a really good job we're real, real, real proud of the design and engineers to go make it simple and functional and nice and clean and i think they hit it right on the head perfect fuel fill how many gallons of fuel do we have on this 200 here? gallons of fuel 200 gallons yep. of fuel range is about uh, 300 miles at okay. cruise very, right. very comparable to any 28. and this boat has twin 300s on it twin 300s currently yes sir okay you have any performance numbers yet uh, we do Another thing, Alan, this is our prototype. This is our number one hull. And, and with that, um, you know, it's testing, right? It's validation. This boat right now has 145 hours on it. Okay. Um, so we really are going through what works, what doesn't work. We get a lot of input from a lot of folks, not alone with the engineering group. We talk about manufacturing, what's easy to build, ergonomically easy to get to. And, and, mm -hmm. and finally, we'll put the stamp on it here on hull number two and beyond. Gotcha. So we're constantly tweaking. And, uh, and and that's the fun part about having one uh, for, for number one that you can do yeah, that. You can, you can work on it and just for you, you, you at home, um, Stan mentioned to, to us that uh, you know some of the wiring and the rigging isn't exactly how their, their, their standard is, but we wanted to show it anyway. This is part of the process that most of us don't get to see and thankfully we had the opportunity to come check out hole number one, which is the prototype that they're working on. And they're, Correct. They're going to perfect it. Like you said, hole number two is going to be right. what we expect from Everglades, but we like to see that process, you know, and I think I think a lot of people at home would like to see it as well and understand some of this stuff is being moved around. You guys are you're tinkering with it still. That's correct. So very good. A lot of space in here. You know, you can get to everything. Absolutely no problem. You got your fuel tank up, you know, from here forward. Really nice space for a 28 footer for sure. We do manufacture all of our harnesses. So changing a length of a harness is a phone call away, oh, which yeah? is really nice about Everglades. That is very nice. So Alan, I'm here on the transom. So again, more features. Four Gemlux outriggers out of the way for prepping, trolling, whatever you want to do. A nice walkway here designated to get from port to starboard or starboard to port. A nice ingress ladder, secondary ladder to get in and out of the boat with. Again, twin 300 Yamahas, performance data. This boat we built with every option possible. Um, and we did that for a reason. We did that for a reason of center gravity and we did it for performance. So this boat is probably running uh, mid to high 50s. Uh, we ran production boat number two last week. No sea keeper, a little less center of gravity, and I was getting almost 60 mile an hour. Another nice feature is what we have is the engine flush system, which is an option. But again, so it's really a big boat option in the midsize package. As I mentioned, Alan, this, this boat has a sea keeper one in it, and we still incorporated some storage in here. Number one, the most important is access to the sea keeper in the components. And here's some areas here for your knife and, and pliers and some leader line also. They're symmetrical on both sides. If you don't get the Sea Keeper, you're gonna get Play-Doh pull out storage boxes on both sides, which would increase your tackle storage tremendously. So there you have it. That was the walkthrough of the brand new 285 from Everglades Boats. We were super excited to come see it. Obviously travel from Miami to New Smyrna Beach to do it. And Stan, thank you very much you're for welcome, taking the time it. to show us around. Yeah, Hope man. you guys enjoyed it. Where can they find some more information on this boat? Well, it's you have perfect timing today because today is the official release of this boat to the media. Oh, really? Uh, you can go to EvergladesBoats.com and the information for performance, pricing from, from your dealers, contact your local dealer, and it'll be more than happy. And this will premiere at Fort Lauderdale this year. All right, um, we'll uh, see you guys there then. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, share this with any friends that you think would love to see this Everglades 285. We appreciate your time, and we'll see you again soon here at Center Console Zone.